Hey guys, we're back for part two. Actually, I decided to do a part two because yeah, here's the church I used to go to like every Sunday. So yeah. Did our first communion there. Yeah. Um. Not too shabby. Yeah. Go get the communion. That's a weird spiral looking building that's pretty famous. Oh yeah? Yeah, some architect built it. It spirals all the way up. That's cool. Drive by it a little if you want. Yeah, why not? Nice. <laughs> and that's our steak our time. Yeah. Not too shabby at all. Walk back down the alley and work our way back. What? Last time walking home was uh, the Christmas vacation. Wow. It started December 15th all the way to the start of the second week of January. Yeah. So it's like three weeks off. It was awesome. Oh, I bet. It was a pretty exciting time. Walk home. It was always snowing that day. I remember one day it was snowing so much. Yeah. I was playing nets on that school. Bring this sign out. Nice. The snow piled up so much in my head, people said it looked like we scooped it up. Wow. No, it is. So here's this, um, I think it's a Catholic school, right? Yeah, this is the high school. That's the elementary side. Yeah. You want to walk down this one? Why not? Oh, he's here. We had to run along the fence. And all the way around that building wasn't there. Yeah. There's this big square field. There's a small building there, small cement building. Yeah. <clears throat> Ball field. And they had that here. This ball field was always here, but like I said, the rink, identical that one just on this side. Nice. And where that big area is where the hockey nets are? Yeah. They had a shed there. Oh, yeah, I see them. I don't see. Yeah. Yeah, see the nets over there, guys? Yeah. Again, I believe the field is kind of responsible for that. Yeah. Run here, and these are old, old oak trees. Yeah. If you look, we used to find them all the time as kids. Check around, and it was all kinds of acorns. Nice. You to uh, fly down here. That's cool. See any on the ground? Squirrels probably got them all. But oh, uh, God, we pick them up all the time. Nice. Some kids didn't even eat them. <laughs> <laughs> So here's that school my uncle went to. My family, like, yeah. Yep. Your uncle Al is too young. He didn't go to school then. No. But, but when we moved up to Transcona, he played school with Harry Patrick. So oh, yeah. He missed uh, the Catholic school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go, it's not too shabby, not too shabby.
here that we've had a park that felt like a long walk to us at lunch. Yeah. We had a whole hour off since so someone's come up this park. Certainly didn't look like it does now. That's when the first Prime Minister Trudeau was in power. Really? He just got voted out that year as sheriff, yeah. Wow. We had a kid whose last name was Trudeau in our class. Really? Yeah, so they're always asking. Was he related or no? No. Oh, slow down. Yep. It is 7 Eleven. I met two wrestlers in. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It was the day we got our first communion. Me and Uncle Joe walked up there in our. But again, it was starting to feel a little less long. Yeah. When we first started walking here, it was 1983. Wow. A guy named Tom Watt was a head coach of the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah. Shortly after, they hired John Ferguson to be their general manager. Nice. And they played in the old rink back then. Had a huge portrait of the Queen up one end. Yeah, I remember that photo. Do you? Yeah, I saw the photos on old Winnipeg Arena. That's cool. Now, was it true? Was it up by Polo Park, or where was it? I think, it, yeah, it was on uh, Empress Street. It's like between where the movie theater and the old Bomber Stadium was. I see. Man, if I can go back in time and like watch a game there, I would. Oh, yeah. Howard. was different back then, though. Howard Chuck, Solani. Yeah. It's like no one knew how special it was until it was over. Yeah, I know. Like we enjoyed it, but that house that we just walked from when we were living there. Yeah. That's how me and Uncle Joe actually fell in love with hockey. Nice. For example, every I think it was Wednesday. Yeah. The uh, Winnipeg Sun came out with uh, the newspaper, of course. Yeah. And it had all the hockey stats right across the whole league. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Then I would get mad at it for the newspaper. So if the rule was, we were allowed to touch that newspaper to brand that better. Wow. <laughs> when he was done, he'd hand us the chunk and we'd sit there. Laying on the floor on our elbows, reading all the stats, who's doing what. It's funny now if we can only remember half those names. Yeah. I remember when Tom Walk got fired, I felt so bad for him. Oh, wow. We got our first VCR in that house in 1983. We were visiting my aunt and uncle, so granddad taped the game. It was the first time we recorded it, and uh, Winnipeg Jack came. Nice. League was a lot smaller then too. Oh wow. <laughs> it was old school hockey. It was old creases, just yeah. a square. There was no I guess technically a rectangle. Basically. Yeah, and this is the long thing you know. That bit from the school yeah. probably felt the longest. Oh wow. <laughs> Did it feel like BC from like Vancouver to St. John's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as you see, it's not a very long walk at all. No. Here's the funny house. Or it was odd looking to us back then. Yeah. Not in a bad way, just it stood out. It's right here, so it's just basically when it felt we made it. Makes you wonder what we belly was about. Yeah. It was nice. Like sometimes in September you get that last blast uh, summer. It really warm out. Yeah. Those are nice times to walk to and from school. Winter suck. Except for Christmas holidays. And it was also exciting after Christmas. Yeah. First day walking there because you go see your friends after the break. They don't be talk about what they got for presents or how the holidays went. Wow. Oh, yep, there's a school right over there where my uncle used to go to. Not really a shabby place. We'll walk uh, 
Back to the car on the Saint Road. Sure. It's rare we did that, but once in a while, and this is where we do it, right in this corner. Nice. <laughs> St. Leon. <laughs> Does that St. Leon remind you of someone? <laughs> Leon! <laughs> the crowd? <laughs> yep, Mr. Dreisaitl. The best. Oh, yeah. This looks a lot different right here. But this park over here, going down to the river, that was always there. Yep. Right, hold on guys, uh, we're on St. Mary's Road. Uh, if you guys can see, there's the Red River. So yeah, that's cool. Apparently, guys, this is the last time you'll see it because it's apparently racist. That's a good on it. <laughs> like, we're not saying, we're not trying to be racist, but we're just waiting for like people that will go political over it. Yeah. So, there's this park. Huh. Sorry, the sun's in the, the, your way, but yeah. Just walking away back to the car. <laughs> there's a Chinese restaurant. See, it's still there. We used to go warm up on the way to school in the morning. Nice. It's really cold out. Nice. <laughs> Chairman of the board. In that Riverside Club, that sign, that's uh, right on the corner of Ellensmere Avenue where the car is. Oh, cool. Tell you a funny story about me and Uncle. Dan would see us walking home from right around here. Yeah. <laughs> Broken glass. <laughs> I was always like that when I was kids. Oh, yeah. I never really looked. Here it is, buddy. Yep. Yep. We walk right in there the lobby and just sit there and see more. Nice. <laughs> the lady was so kind. Start the uh, Honda shop. Still there. There's only ATVs and stuff back then, and dirt bikes and stuff. Yeah.
Red Rivers. at the back end of the pub. Oh yeah. Now you can see downtown from here. Okay, so your uncle Joe and I. Yeah. We come in here sometimes. And back then this is just like this is like a, a lobby. Yeah. Right? Because the bar was in the back. Here was the next side. It was a little lobby. We'd go in there and they had a pop machine. Yeah. And we'd put in a couple of pennies and the guy would hear the change go clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah. We hit the button. Of course, something happened. We didn't pay enough. Well, hey! Sing didn't give me my Coke. So the guy would come and open the door and give us our Coke. Oh, yeah? We do that all the time. Wow. And one other quick thing. Every once in a while we'll get money for doing stuff, right? Yeah. A couple quarters, no big deal. This is a store. They had dining. It's like a diner on this side by the glass. Yeah. The back end is a big case, front counter here, and had aisles of groceries. Nice. Let's go to the alley. I'll show you the old way to the other store. Nice. <laughs> it's much closer. Oh yeah. So we only went to the school for one year. We come out of the house, sometimes go straight to the back lane. Yeah. Uh, Mary Ann was a friend of my aunt. She lived behind us and we cut through her yard. Wow. Where did we come up this way? Not just like when I was a kid, but. Buy day old bread cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, you know, come get a couple loaves of bread. Sometimes granddad go and get like a pastry treat. Yeah. We got it right here in this brick building. Wow. Right here in that door. And then up here is Mary Ann's. All right. So going from the house cut through Mary Ann's yard it's got us. Leave from the street quick. Yeah, this is, uh, Madonna. Back then, that's when she was number one on uh, music. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look, their house doesn't change. The school, see the old old building. Yeah. Even back then, they didn't have windows. It was all that brick in the windows. Nice. There's another school my uncle went to. Glenwood. In the office windows, like I told you, I was sitting there when Granddad came in one morning. Yeah. I didn't even make it to old Canada, and they sent me there for some reason. <laughs> hey, look, they see the Glenwood Community Center, the oh, the Bruins logos. You know, this hasn't changed. What? I mean, uh, new paint and stuff, it's the same color, it was green. Yeah. Um, yeah it's cool, it felt like it was wider. This looks new. Yeah. <laughs> He's here. And this is where the actual rank was in this tin building. Oh, wow. Right, here's another story Uncle has. <laughs> well, my twin sister, we both went to Glenwood there. Yeah. We walked school in the morning. I don't know what happened. I got in shit. Down the office I go. Boom. It was before O Canada even. Yeah. Didn't even make it to my class. So I'm sitting there. They're all busy because of announcements and getting ready for school day. So I'm waiting. All of a sudden, there's Granddad standing there. My sister had forgotten her lunch. Drops her off to school and he sees me sitting in the office. What the hell are you doing here? What's the matter with you? I'll see you when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I remember. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's a funny story. <laughs> see the next? Yep. So Uncle Joe and I we come here and play. 
all the time. In the winter? Yeah. We come home after school, grab our skates, come straight here, go home for supper. Yeah. Eat supper, come right back here, and then have to go home and go to bed. Except during Christmas break. We're allowed to play here as long as we liked. Yeah. So we did. My God. It's changed a bit. This is clearly new wood, and they didn't have all this mesh everywhere. Yeah. They actually had benches. Yeah. And we come down this field for uh, Canada Day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Before you're born, obviously. But we come down and they do fireworks here. Yeah. So everybody show up, and uh, Victoria Day, there'd be fireworks back in those days. All right. So you see over here, skated all the time. This is where I got kicked by a horse. Really? These had chains that went through there, so my legs hit the chains and I flew over it. Wow. And this is where we come and play uh, school ball. So the different grades, you see there's three ball fields. There's one in that corner. Yeah. We play there when you're really small, like grade twos, threes play there at Brandy. Yeah. Over here, the older kids, and then us, we're the older mid kids. So we'd play in this one. Wow. And we'd use one of those big pink balls. You'd kick it. It was soccer baseball, they called it. Nice. This is where we do gym. Now, you want to hear a funny story about your Uncle Joe and Mom? Sure. One day, I come walking down here, and they're sitting here laughing. It was in the winter. So let's go at the bleachers and have a look. All right. Here are bleachers. My God, clean bleachers, buddy. <laughs> look like you're upgraded. No, they don't look upgraded. Trust me, they are. Oh. Okay, so up here. I'm gonna go up. Think about that. Jim was the last two periods of the day. All right. So we get to come out and play in the field and go home. Nice. Yeah. I hate when they make bleachers like so thick. So yeah, guys. Uh. We're going to be ending the video soon. Uh, hope you guys are not over yet, but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And yeah. My uncles, my moms, my uncles, my aunt. This is their stomping ground. Honestly, they lived in other parts of the city. Uh, Transcona. Yeah. Yep. Every single house, but these are different. These yeah. two? Yeah. They walk up, drop their mail, go walk, especially in the winter, because people only just shovel their walk. Yeah. What's your next, bud? I don't know, actually. Want to look out like where the old Jets used to play? Yeah, we do that. Like where the building used to be located because it's teared down now. Well, they did tear it down? Yeah. It sucks. I know. Because mm. in the Edmonton tear down Rexall place, or at least going yet. to. they're going to. That sucks. Here you guys, just uh, might as well end the video here. Actually, uh, I'll just pause it till we get to the on Empress where the old Jets used to play. Yeah, guys, just leaving the area. This is where we walked on. Shit, I hope that guy didn't. See, God, I hope that guy didn't see me. Shifty. So yeah, guys, we walked on this uh, road. Pretty cool. Well, you can see downtown from here. Yeah.
Oh yeah, there's that building. Should I go buy it? But if you want to. Do you want me to? Um, no, nah, it's okay. Okay. Top of the building? That's uh, a restaurant. Oh yeah. Remember when they built that? Nice. Must have been what, 84, 85? Yeah, train station? Yep. Right smack dab in the center of Canada. Nice. Um, is this still like a, yeah, this is going to sound really stupid, um, are there still trains that still like, you know? Yep. All right. Via rail, baby. It goes from here to uh, Churchill, Manitoba. Wow. And of course, points east and west. Nice. Here's the Human Rights Museum. play so yeah guys um not done this video yeah we're just gonna uh, like, like find a place to get gas and um like drive around where i'll show you like where the winnipeg arena used to be at so yeah not done guys i'll be over in the somewhere in the half an hour mark
Christmas lights are going up. Nice. Not lit yet, but they're up. See the Christmas lights, guys? Well, they're not lit, but yeah. Boys play. Yeah. Boys place. Actually, guys, you know what? I'm going to record till we get on Empress because I want to save a little film. Sorry, guys. I lied. Uh, we're just getting gas right now. We're at the Shell gas station. Um, Here's Rexall, McDonald's, and yeah. Sorry, guys. I keep lying. Like I say, I'm going to save some film, but fuck it. But oh, well. I'm unpredictable sometimes. All right, guys. We're on Empress. Uh, here's Polo Park Mall. Um, Ford Cap, Ford Lincoln, Ford car dealership. Yep. Go, let's go. Uh, so here's like Mantua Blue Cross. So like around here is like where the, um, like more over there, I'll show you. West End's over there. There's a movie theater, Home Depot, Chapters, Montana's, and yeah. Like, um, right there, that building right over there is where the old Blue Bomber Stadium. Which, that building? Ah, uh, yeah, Plaza. Yeah, with the green. And also used to be, like, I believe this is, like, where also the Winnipeg Arena used to be. Around this area, too. Have you been to a game at Winnipeg Arena before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't NHL. It's called the Winnipeg Warriors. They're, uh... Oh, all right. Sure. Sorry, guys. I'm going to end the video here, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.